Okay, I know this is a long video, but we did so much on this trip. Started in Dallas, then Vegas, then Phoenix. Did a ton of stuff in each city. Hope you all enjoy. set for that's less than three up uh, just over three hours away uh, and then we gotta get up and head to the airport 4 a.m. airport okay we are boarding the plane now where are we headed Mason? we're going to Minneapolis first and then where to? Dallas awesome let's get on the plane and we'll see you guys when we get to Minneapolis nice to you thank guys. you Bye, see ya Good. Okay, landed in Minneapolis. We were on the tarmac for a good like hour before we even took off because we had to de-ice and everything. Uh, but we're here now. We have about a three hour layover and then we're heading into Dallas. I, uh, I hear that it's about 28 degrees there, nice and sunny, pretty warm. It's about zero degrees here. The snow's been coming down since about 8 a.m., still coming pretty heavy. It sounds like we're having pretty similar weather, though. Be sure to enjoy the nice tropicalness there, and I'll enjoy the nice tropical weather we have going on here. Uh, yeah. So basically the same weather, right? I think we chose a good day to, <laughs> I think we chose a good day to go away. Uh, we're gonna go get our bags once we get off this plane and then head to the hotel. Uh, okay, we're in our Uber now. We're headed over to the hotel. Okay, we had to take two Ubers because we wouldn't all fit in one, but our other Uber just passed us. We told Raj to step on it. He's gonna get us there, he's gonna do it, and we're gonna beat him back there. We can't, we can't let them beat us. Okay, the plan for this evening is to go grab some grub at a bar, restaurant, lounge, place across the street, then come back here, chill for a little bit, then we're going bowling tonight. We are in our second room now. Uh, the first room smelled like smoke, so we're in our, we got moved down to the first floor. And this room still smells kind of funky, doesn't it, Macy? Yeah, it smells really weird still. Oh, we have visitors. <laughs> we have visitors. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just got our room like five minutes Okay, ago. we're going to eat and then bowling. We're Okay, so obviously you can't tell through the camera, but this room also really stinks. It's our second room. It's like, it's like the fridge is so like sour. It smells milk. like yeah, something spoiled. So, oh, like, gross! Like, old socks, like suede socks, like laundry that sat in the washer for too long. It's disgusting. Gross! So they're giving us our third room now. Let's go check out that other room and hopefully it's better. Okay, so room two thirty-five, our third room and hopefully final room is like on the back of the hotel. It's actually like outside. So we got to venture back here and here we go. 235, <laughs> right at the top of the stairs. Let's see how this goes. Take a look at this whole room here now. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's, outside the bathroom. it's like legit half a room. That's kind of a nice feature. I like that. Good news is it doesn't uh, doesn't smell, so that's good. But I mean, it's really half a room. So what do you say, Macy? Are you happy with it? I'll keep it, I guess. <laughs> okay, perfect. We are. It is 6:30 now. We're just gonna unpack for the third time now, uh, and then we're going to head over to Bow Lounge, which is this bowling place that we're going to for seven o'clock. So let's go bowling. Okay, we're at Bow Lounge now. We're, we're all bowling. We got. Uh, the Young Guns versus the Veterans plus Tracy. Uh, we got ourselves a big old tower of beer here uh, to drink from. Uh, so let's bowl. The first game we're going to bowl for fun. The second game it's going to get competitive. So let's go bowl and let's get ready to beat the Veterans. This 
the guy walking behind me? That's a two-way mirror. Those are the urinals right behind me. And that looks across through the bar to the front door. Take a look at that. So as you're peeing, you're looking out at the bar. How crazy is that? That's pretty cool. Okay, so the bowling went great. We're gonna tell you all about it when we leave here. Okay guys. The championship team. The yeah. Team us four, whatever we are called. <laughs> we didn't even think of a name. We didn't think even think of a team name. Us team millennial. <laughs> team millennial minus Tracy. Yeah. Uh, we won the bowling, so we got ourselves some <laughs> we got ourselves some appetizers before from Monday's where? game. And from where? We don't know yet because Costco. 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 Sean says it's from Costco. Eat all you and want it's on me. <laughs> all the appetizers we want from Costco on Sean. Uh, but anyway, it was a, it was a ton of fun. So now we're heading back to the hotel. Okay, guys, we're back at the hotel room, our miniature little New York style hotel room here. Uh, today was a great day, super long. It's like whatever it is, 9.30 night now. It's been like 15 hours since we got on the first plane this morning. Uh, the bowling was awesome. Tomorrow we got a Segway tour at 9 a.m. to go through historic downtown of Dallas for two hours. Everybody is pumped about that. And then we got the Cowboys Chiefs game at 3.25 in the afternoon. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good, Good morning. morning, everybody. So today is the second day on the trip. I'm trying to vlog here. The second, the second day of the trip, we're heading off to Segway Tours first thing this morning, uh, and then we're going off to the football game later. Let's go ride some Segways. You gotta talk loud, but how's it going? It's going so good, so much fun. <laughs> if you guys haven't taken a Segway tour anywhere ever, you have to do it. But honestly, whoa, almost wiped out. They're honestly so much fun. Look at, look at, look at the smiles on her face. I'm a natural first timer. <laughs> yeah, she did amazing as you guys saw. Let's continue riding here. Here in Dallas on our Segway tuner where uh, JFK was shot. So here it is from this building here. You can see up in that corner right there. That corner is a piece of plexiglass at the bottom. That's where uh, the first shots were coming from. Uh, they shot down on this street here where he drove down and turned down here. And then right where this X is, it's tough to see. There's an X like right there. That's where the first shots came from. And then they continue to drive down the road here. And then there's an X right down there, just at the tip of my finger, which is where another shot came from, where it looks like it actually came from across the street to right over here. Uh, it's pretty crazy, there's a ton of people are looking at it. And then this little concrete pillar right there is where the photographer was sitting, who's just a local businessman who recorded on his camera the whole thing happening, which is the footage that you see always on the news. Let's continue riding our segways. So the segways were really awesome today. We had a ton of fun. Got to see a lot of cool historical things in Dallas. Got to see some JFK stuff. Fun. So now we're going to go off to the game right now. Heading to the Cowboys game right away. Got two of these bad boys coming here. Brand new Chevy Suburbans, black, dark tint, wonderful. Straight ballin'. It is like 34, 35, 36 degrees. It's definitely nuts. This is our first time obviously doing any tailgating like this. This stadium is insanely huge. There are people and tents everywhere. Cowboys bike. There was even one of the people said that people tailgate here for like five days beforehand. They come on Monday, they camp out, and they don't leave till Sunday once the game's over. We're going to find some food right now uh, and just experience the whole tailgating atmosphere here. It's nuts. 
work with it, girl. See what I did, girl. Put a bang bang. Bounce with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. Put a bang bang. Up with it, girl. Okay, so as you see, the tailgating here is wicked. We're just walking to the stadium now. First of all, it's air conditioned, which is primo. Even James here getting all cowboy on us, picking up his Dak Prescott jersey. Jared looking like a tourist, like I just looked like. <laughs> Okay, we gotta find the other people and go find our seats and get something to eat. Okay, so the game just started. Uh, there, it's probably five or six minutes into it right now. And I gotta be honest with you, it's a little ridiculous. We paid like 50 bucks American for a standing room ticket and we picked a seat. So like I got seat nine and you had to pick by row. Uh, but once we get in there, there's just no room anywhere to stand. Like my dad and Mike have the best standing spots and my dad and Mike can only see maybe like a corner, like 20 or 30 yards of the field at best on one half of it. Uh, the other guys, Sean, uh, Lloyd, Tracy, James, Jared are sitting on plastic tables and ice cubes of the Dr. Pepper zone uh, and they can see it on a TV about 20 feet away. It's like a 50 inch TV, which is ridiculous too. And there's tons of people doing it. I just don't get it. Uh, Mason and I came outside here just because we can't see or do anything in there anyway, so we're just coming for a walk to check it out, try to experience some other things. Uh, it's a little crazy. We're definitely not going to stay here for the full game just because it just isn't worth it. But super neat experience. I just, if you come here ever, just buy a seat so you can actually see because the standing room is a total ripoff and just ridiculous. So James, Jared, Macy, Lloyd, and I are all leaving the game now. It's just it's just about halftime now. Uh, there just was no no room in there. It just there was no point in staying. The other guys stayed and they'll probably leave earlier. But uh, we're just gonna run back to the hotel and drop our stuff off, change, and then uh, head out. So we'll see you guys when we get out to the bars tonight. Okay, so we finished dinner now. We went to uh, Stir, this really good little bar, restaurant, lounge, steak place. Now we're just walking around deep elements like this uh, bar district -y area. Uh, here in Dallas, uh, and then we're just gonna we're gonna hang here for the rest of the night, and then we're gonna uh, wake up tomorrow. I think we got a tour at 11 o'clock, so we don't have to get going to like 10:30. So I might hit the gym tomorrow morning. Uh, either way, this is gonna end for today, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So today is the third day of the trip. Today is the game day for the Jets here in Dallas. Uh, we don't have to get going till late today, like 10:30, because we're going on a tour of the AT&T Stadium. Uh, so we went and got breakfast. I went to the gym and got a workout in and now I'm going for a swim in the pool while everyone else just kind of chills and then gets ready. I uh, know we're heading out. So let's go for a swim and then let's hit that stadium tour. Oh, this water's cold. Two hours later. Macy, hey, can you tell us where we are? We're back at the at and Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> what are we here for? A tour. <laughs> okay, let's take the tour. tour now the game is in like four hours we're gonna head down to a restaurant grab some drinks grab some food before the game hopefully see the Jets win again so let's head to the game all right we're at the American Airlines Center time to go watch some hockey Woo! Let's go Shife <laughs> you got this Shife we're going down Oh, no, don't do it! Oh, Shai! Watch, Shai! You got him, Shai! Don't worry, in the game you'll get him! Oh, no, Shai lost! Don't worry, we'll get him in the game! All I see is this dude's here. Oh! 
Jets win 4 1, baby, as you can see. Back A! There we go. Yes! Woo! Okay, guys, the game is over. We're back at the hotel. Uh, we went out to the same place the happiest hour afterwards for some celebratory drinks, talked with a bunch of Stars fans, other Jets fans. Uh, it was a great night. 4 1. 4-1 win, uh, it was awesome. Uh, now we just got back to the hotel, it's about 1 a.m. Uh, we're just finishing packing up, we're just going for a little walk right now. Uh, and then we're gonna be up by about 8 a.m. We're gonna go for breakfast, so we can leave by 8.45, 9 a.m. to get to the airport, or we're off to Vegas. So let's head to Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby, we are here. We've made it to Vegas now. Uh, we're staying at the Luxor, like I was saying earlier. So check out the view from our room. Our room is right here. We walk out and we're right in the pyramid. So we got to look inside here. But come check out our room. Room tour, room tour, room tour, James. And there's the Mandalay Bay. We're gonna probably walk around here once we find them and then we'll, uh, we're gonna head off and I think that's Bogo at 6.30 tonight. Several bad puns later. It's salad bar time right now, which means everybody here is in at the salad bar, which means that is time for me to not go to the salad bar and just leave this baby on green so I can just go Go ham on the meat. Go, go all out on the meat. Ham. Does that still work? Go ham on the meat. Yeah, I think that works. Go ham on the meat. Let's go to town. To you, happy birthday, dear Tracy and James. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! Anyway, that was a horrible happy birthday. birthday. That was not a happy birthday. Happy. happy. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, birthday, James. What tomorrow? Good morning, guys. So last night after we sang Tracy happy birthday for her twenty, <coughs> so I'm trying to get a show for her twenty third birthday. There, we just went back to the hotel and pretty much all passed out. So that's why there's no video after that. But today. Uh, we are a bunch of us, as you can see walking behind us here, are going to um, Danny's at Counts Customs, uh, Pawn Stars, and then the Shelby Museum. Uh, and then up, Macy and James are going over to the Bodies and the Titanic exhibit in our hotel. Then Colleen's landing in this afternoon. We'll pick her up when we go to the, to the outlet mall. Uh, and then tonight we got the Cirque Show. Cirque show. So let's, uh, let's keep trying to follow Jim wherever he's going here. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna, let's go, let's go check out those places. Customs, as you saw, then we also went by the pawn shop. But the uh, pawn shop was closed because they were filming, and then the lineup was huge. Uh, so we didn't go in, which is fine, but it doesn't really need to go in there anyway. Uh, but now we're headed over to uh, Shelby, uh, the factory museum here, and tour 
Uh, so we're gonna go in there, take a look at some of the Shelby's and the factory tour. Let's go. Good, we're just picking some people up up there. Go right ahead. Have awesome. a great day. You too, man. Who that guy almost had a bad day? No kidding. Picking up Mason James now from the hotel, and then we're going to In N Out for lunch. Let's go eat. Okay, we're in and out right now, and if you haven't been to In and Out, it's just, just about a couple hundred restaurants in California, in Nevada, and Arizona. All they sell is burgers, cheeseburgers, fries, and shakes. That's all. Uh, nothing else. But they pump through an insane amount of people. The menu is the simplest thing ever. It's actually really good. Except poor Macy. I don't eat burgers. Or shakes, because she doesn't have any lactose pills. So <laughs> we got Macy some fries. So she wants to have some fries. We'll get her some food somewhere else shortly, hopefully. Uh, so now let's eat that. And I don't know what we're doing after this. Okay, so it's like... 3.30 now. Uh, my dad, Lloyd, just went and picked Colleen up from the airport, so the whole gang is officially here now. Uh, the rest of us just kind of went and hung out around uh, our hotel in here, uh, behind me. Uh, we played some table games, played some slots. Uh, overall, about $5. I did go on the roulette table, so that was awesome. Maybe we'll go play that later. James is doing amazing on his uh, on his multiplier games and the slots. Uh, Macy hasn't gambled anything yet, but uh, maybe later, because uh, it's going well for most of us here. James has been the nice big winner. Uh, we're all just meeting now in like a minute, but I don't see anybody else. Uh, let's go to the Nautilus Mall and do some shopping. Uh, so let's go shopping. Okay, so we went shopping. Uh, all of us did good. James got some stuff. Macy got some stuff, including this lovely sweater shirt right here. We are uh, just going to the bathroom, changing, and then we're heading out to our Cirque du Soleil show at at MGM Grand, across the street at MGM Grand. I probably can't bring this in there, so I will see you guys after we watch the uh, the Cirque show. Here we are at Ka, time to watch some Cirque. Mm. Okay, we're in Cirque now. The set around us looks amazing. Take a look around here. Pretty crazy looking. That's the stage all right down there where all the flames and stuff are going. Let's watch the show. Kyle, awesome. what'd you think? Awesome. Yeah. What'd you think, Patty? It was. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Honestly, I was dozing off for like the first like half hour, 40 minutes, and they're like twirling around stuff. And then, but as soon as it got to like one arm doing chin ups like 80 feet in the air and running around the big, running around the big fidget spinner, I was I was into it. Okay, so we ran into a uh, Armia, Matthias, Hellebuck, and Lowry here. So now Lloyd's asked for a picture. Macy's taking a picture. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys, so dinner was actually really good. We went to this place called Tap MGM, but our service was absolutely horrendous. And then they added an auto gratuity on you, and we actually had someone go up and take the gratuity off. It was it was a terrible, terrible service. Probably the worst, worst service that we've had. But now we're uh, we're done for the day here. Uh, it's what is it? 10:50 at night now. Uh, some people. Uh, some people want to continue out for the night, but we're all headed back to the hotel rooms. We're in early morning tomorrow. We're going out to Death Valley. Uh, it's about a couple hour drive out, uh, doing some hiking and some sightseeing and that, some good sleep, uh, and then get Adam bright and early tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So today is James's birthday. Uh, it's November 9th. So here we go. We're driving out to uh, Death Valley today. Yeah, we just passed through Pahrump, Nevada, uh, which is just the city that's there. It's actually where Spring Mountain is, where the Corvette Club, uh, where Corvette people go to learn how to race. It's at uh, Ron Fellows there. Right now we're at uh, the Horizon Market, the Tumbleweed Tavern. Uh, no idea what that is. Macy, 
We're at Furnace Creek, which is the hottest place on average in the world. We got up to 134 degrees. That's the record in North America. Right now, it's like, well, as you can see, it's 83 degrees. You pumped? You pumped? What are Even you? my dad's gone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, we're totally what kidding. Okay, we're actually we're at the stretch right now. We are all, well, what six of us are about to jump. Uh, <clears throat> so we all got the GoPro packages, so we're all gonna have footage of us jumping. So uh, watch for that. Okay, we got six of us jumping today. The first are Tracy, Mary, and Sean. And then the third group is Jimmy, me, and James. Awesome, and we got our spectators here at Cheering Club. Woo! Jim, Shanley, Patty, Colleen, Lloyd, the Cheering Chicken Club. Hey! And we also got uh, my dad and and Michael going up to the top right now. Uh, going all the way up. Me, I'm all the way up. To watch us jump from. That little platform right up there that I just covered. That's where we're jumping from. We land on this target here. Uh, the first three are going right now, like Macy said, and then uh, then we're jumping. So, it's exciting. Let's see how they're doing. So, Mary, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. You ready? I'm ready. You're looking, you're looking good. Like. So you're jumping number three tonight, right? Amanda. Oh, hey, Amanda. Okay. And let's see. There are several parts of my body that are really tight right now. <laughs> <laughs> remember what? I'm jumping for number one. Number one? one? Okay. Awesome. Number you're looking Hopefully. good. Hopefully, I'm going to set the you're looking, you're looking good, by the way. Thank you. Good. good. These harnesses always bring out the you best or the worst in us. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to wear these out to Fremont afterwards. Absolutely. I mean, you fit in. yeah. You, who's, who's jumping next? Tracy? You ready? See Sean survive first. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll happen. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> what? What? What do you? What do you? Ali's going. Yeah, what do you think your biggest said. fear is? The jump part. The jumping I'm off. Starting to hurt. She says the jump off is the hardest part. Yeah. That was the most nerve-wracking part when I went before. Was that? So. You ready for that, Sean? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Got the form. <laughs> the form down. No, oh, you're looking good. Hey guys, the other three people are going up right now. They're going to jump. They're on the elevator ride, probably. Macy, James, and I are about to go get changed. So we're going to go change, and then you'll see us on the jump. It. It yeah. Awesome. Glad you did it. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Yeah. Trace, how'd you like it? Good. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It's gonna be the uh, annual thing. Annual thing. Annual thing. Okay. We're just uh, we're gonna go to Fremont Street now for some drinks and dinner, uh, and then see where the night takes us. Okay. It was a pretty awesome day. We're finishing our day on Fremont Street. If anything else awesome happens today, we'll see you. If not, have a good night.
tomorrow. Okay guys, so today was awesome walking around James Mace tonight. We actually did a ton of shopping. Now we're at, what's this place called? Nine Fine Irishmen, where we're all grabbing some... <laughs> <laughs> We're at Nine Fine Irish and we're uh, grabbing some drinks we that where there are a ton of Jets fans. Take a look. <laughs> this is obviously our whole group here. There's more over there. And check out the bar everywhere you look. Jets fans. So uh, we're going we're gonna to head into the rink soon. Well, we're here enjoying this beautiful weather at the Jets game tonight. But let's take a look at what's going on at home. Hey Jimmy, just thought I'd give you another weather update out here. It's currently minus 10, is what they say. It feels like it's probably about minus 20, 25 out here. The roads are icy at, at best, and it's really blustery, so visibility is not great. Hope you guys are having a good time in the nice desert sun. Very nice. <laughs> here we go. Welcome home. Here we are. Home of the Winnipeg Jets for tonight. <laughs> I forget what team it was. There was one guy, he's like the black hockey player on the team. He kept hitting me in the stomach every time he come by. I don't know what it is with these guys are touching my belly. The guy kept hitting me in my stomach, so like after the game, I'm like, fuck this, we're gonna go have some words. And so I go over there, I go over there, I'm like, dude, what's your problem? Yeah. I'm like, I was trying to give you some dap, but you were too fucking slow, so I, I just kept being in the stomach. Oh, my bad. Keep that uh, pissed up. <laughs> okay, here we go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, thanks for liking my IG pic, man. You're the real hero. Thanks, bro. Okay guys, so as you saw, the Jets lost 5-2. to two. Uh, They really played awful. It was a pretty poor game. It was, it was a good experience. It was really neat. Uh, there, there was probably 7,000 solo Jets fans there. It was, it was pretty awesome. Uh, it would have been a lot better if we won, but uh, either way, a great time. We're just head back. Some people are out eating still. Uh, Mason and I are back in the hotel room right now. We're going to pack up. Uh, it's 11 o'clock right now, and then tomorrow, uh, that way we don't have to worry about it. Uh, for our drive out to Phoenix tomorrow to go uh, see the Jets play in Phoenix tomorrow night. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, so today is our last day in Vegas. Well, not really the last day. Today is, we're leaving right now. It's just after nine in the morning. We're just going to the lobby, check out, meet the rest of our group, go to the vans, pack up, pick up Jared, and then head over to Phoenix. Uh, so this is uh, one last view of our, of our hotel. From the inside, the Luxor, it's super cool. Uh, but we have like a million mile walk just to get to the elevator shaft. Our room is over in this corner and the closest elevator is in this corner. Uh, so we're going to go down, check out, load up the vans and we'll go to Phoenix. So let's go. Okay, so my SD, for whatever reason, had a corrupted file and the audio didn't record. It was just the video that worked. So we got to Phoenix. This is our hotel now. It took us an extra hour to get there because we missed a turn off at one point. Uh, but we did make it. We did make it in the end. Uh, we just start changing here and then we're going down to walk over to Javang.com or to Gila River and Casino uh, for the game. Let's go, Mr. Oh, 
Um, we made the difference. Good job. Good job. Two hours later. Way to cheer out there. Holy smokes, are there any Phoenix fans in here? That's like, that's like 20. My hat, there's a Coyotes fan. Good I'm game. Really not. I'm from California. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so as you saw, the Jets won 4 1. So we won two games on the road trip, which is pretty awesome. I don't think we've ever done that well. Uh, well, on a road trip, we always lose when we go on the road. It's awful. Uh, yeah. Just Chevy himself told us, could you guys stop coming? <laughs> We're heading back to the hotel uh, and then we'll just chill there. Not much time left in the night, it's already midnight. Uh, and tomorrow we're waking up and going to the NASCAR race here. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow at NASCAR. Hey, what's going on guys? So today is Sunday, only a few more days left in the trip, uh, but we are at the whole group here and we're going over to the NASCAR race soon. Uh, we're parked like, at like 10 miles away it seems. We've been walking for like 10 minutes and the, the stadium still looks just as far. Uh, let's go watch some racing. Okay guys, we're back at the hotel now. Uh, it's like just after 9 p.m. Uh, NASCAR was, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was, well, it wasn't cool. It was super hot out. Uh, it's where we're gonna have heat stroke. It was, we we're sitting right in the sun. Uh, it was, it was crazy hot. I had to go down just to cool off. Getting in was a huge hassle. I had my GoPro with its, uh, like the clamp grip stick on it. And I got in security on one side, uh, but then we had to go into the pits and security wouldn't let me in on that side. Uh, long story short, I ended up having a police officer, uh, Sarah, for some, grab me by the arm and pulling me out because I was trying to sneak in uh, a selfie stick, which is like my GoPro handle. Uh, it was a little bit crazy. I ended up having to leave it somewhere uh, and hope someone watched it and didn't give it away or lose it while we went into the pits and then came back. Luckily, it was still there, um, but it was still quite the experience uh, to have the sheriff come and grab me by the arm and pull me out. Uh, it was wild, but it's all got sorted out and it's all good now. Um, right afterwards, we got back to the hotel. Uh, we met up with Macy, who went hiking. This little guy over here terrified me. I thought he was a snake. And then we uh, all went out to Twin Peaks out in Scottsdale for dinner. Uh, now we're back here at the hotel and we're just chilling by uh, the fire what the rest of the people are gonna get here soon and then we're just gonna sit around here have some drinks and chill tomorrow we got to figure out what we're gonna do because tomorrow is our last day on vacation here and the last day is last free day there's nothing planned yet so we're gonna figure out what we want to do uh, so that's gonna end it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys so today is our last day of the trip it is uh, Monday now uh, it's been a great trip but today we didn't have much plan initially we just had a few different ideas uh, but so far it's going pretty good we started off by going to the outlet mall uh, and then after that we went to the coyotes rink uh, for a tour with our guy David Harris clubs and suites that we can get to go to for next year uh, and then once we left there we came over to uh, Top Golf, which I don't know if you guys have heard of it but uh, it's basically just a driving range with a bunch of targets where you get points on it from based on where you hit so there's James down there just about to go um, it's it's super cool watch James
Yeah, so it's it's really cool. We're actually going to the Phoenix Suns LA Lakers game tonight, which we didn't even know was on until today, but figured why not? So we got some tickets up in the high upper bowl, and we're gonna check out some NBA basketball for a first time for all of us, none of us have been. So yeah, first basketball game, it was a ton of fun. Lakers won, uh, it was everyone's first game, so I think everyone had a pretty good time in the end. But now it's time to pack up, uh, go to sleep, because tomorrow we fly home. Okay, right, good morning guys. So today is our last day of the trip. Today we fly home which is very sad because it's really cold and snowy at home. It's beautiful and sunny outside today. Uh, we're just checking in at the airport now, uh, and then we're gonna start flying home. So let's let's just head home now. Okay, so the second flight was delayed by 28 minutes, which is totally fine by us, because we are literally the furthest here. We went from gate B20 where we landed to B94, where we gotta take off from, uh, the opposite end of the airport. So now we're booking it across. Uh, we're gonna need that 28 extra minutes. Uh, and then once we get there, so that means our flight's gonna land at about 5.30 instead of five o'clock tonight, which means we basically used up all our buffer time already to get to the Jets game tonight, okay. So let's hope this plane isn't delayed anymore. We're going under and there's nothing we can do. The final hours. <laughs> It's really getting fun. It's better than a game show. Isn't it? I, I hate that. <laughs> uh, holy smokes. Okay, so the flight is late, uh, but they overbooked it too. So they're they're paying people to go. Lloyd is staying late. They're up to three grand now. Three grand to stay the night. It's getting really tempting to do it, but I'm afraid there's still gonna there's still gonna be more issue. I just feel like there's gonna be something go wrong in one of those flights, and uh, that'll be delayed. But three grand in travel credit is tempting. Very, very tempting. It's such a heartbeat pounding in your chest in this story. Okay, so we've now landed uh, back in Winnipeg. The whole trip is done now. <laughs> For almost everybody, a um, few of us are still going to the Jets game tonight. Uh, we've landed at about 5.20, so there's enough time to get there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and the trip. I'll see you guys in the next one.